We've been talking about hydrochloroquine for some time at this point. So we want to take a deeper dive and walk you through what we know about this drug right now. Hydroxychloroquine is a drug primarily used to fight malaria, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. In lab tests, it appears to block COVID-19 from invading cells. The FDA issued an emergency youth authorization at the end of March. That lets doctors use the drug to treat severely ill coronavirus patients. The agency has not, however, signed off on it as a safe or effective treatment for coronavirus patients. In fact, just last month, the FDA specifically warned against taking hydroxychloroquine outside of a hospital setting or a clinical trial due to risk of heart rhythm problems. In April, the National Institutes of Health launched a study testing hydroxychloroquine versus a placebo in 500 hospitalized COVID-19 patients. Some early studies in China and France found the drug could help, but those studies ended up being flawed. At the beginning of May, doctors at Tampa General Hospital began a study to see the drug's antiviral impacts on healthcare workers. Half were given hydroxychloroquine, half were given a placebo. The study will follow them to see who gets it. We talked with the managing director of the Poison Center in Tampa. He tells us he would not recommend taking hydroxychloroquine to minimize your chance of getting the virus. It might be something that if you were in good health and uh, working with your doctor and had been exposed to someone, but I think that uh, it would not be advisable to use something you would try on your own. Dr. Oleguas also tells me there are potentially dangerous side effects of this drug. That includes the risk of cardiac abnormalities. It's known to disrupt your heart rhythm. Doctors point out the decision to take any medication that is personal. You have to have that conversation with your doctor to weigh the benefits and the risks.